Hello, I'm Newt from Dance TV, and tonight we have James Holden. Hi, James. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Welcome in Greece. Oh, thanks. Do you like playing here in Greece? Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, like it's one of the first places where I had really amazing gigs when I was. Seems a long time ago now. <laughs> so I always, yeah, like I always have like a, a nice feeling about coming here. Do you like the club here and the mood in the clubs you have played? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I really like. I think my girlfriend has this theory about because Greek traditional music is really all this bazooki stuff is really like melancholic and really sad and happy at the same time and everything. And I kind of like the same sort of thing in a melody in my music as well. So maybe her theory is that's why I like it here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever collaborated with a Greek artist? No. I've never, apart from when I was really young and that one singer on nothing and that I don't really collaborate with anyone because I'm really difficult in the studio. I'm really <laughs> sort of like that. <laughs> so, so. Okay. Well, uh, what's your opinion about uh, global electronic music scene? It's better from it's better now, or do you prefer the old days? I don't know. Because it depends on how old you are and how you see it and what you, how you're involved in it or something. If I was 16 now, I would think it was amazing. But now, I'm kind of not that interested in most of the electronic music scene. Most dance music really annoys me at the moment. And you know what I mean? And I, I'm kind of more interested in... I suddenly realized like five years ago or something that if you look at all music... You just enjoy it more, and so I'm sort of not even so bothered about what's brand new anymore. Like music from the 70s, or there's records from the 80s that I can play in my set now, and no one will know that they're not brand new. They even sound fresher than some of the new stuff because they're not made with presets on Ableton or something. Like, so yeah, I think I'm a funny person to ask that question because <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, there's maybe like five DJs in the world who I'd actually go and see for fun for a night out and there's like a hundred bands that I go and see so yeah <laughs> I've seen at the border community site you're going to Japan yeah exactly. with Nathan Fake yeah Petter as well and it's my birthday while we're there and it's, it's going to be super <laughs> like yeah like It's a really crazy place to go, like really, really, and people are amazing, the country is amazing, and it's, yeah, really exciting. We will have a new release of yours. <laughs> um, at the moment I'm working on things, but I haven't really, I don't know when I'm going to finish, <laughs> I really don't. I think that the last, your last work was uh, The Idiots Are Winning. Yeah, yeah. And, um, 2006. Yeah, it's a long time now, isn't it? Like, it seems like no time, because last year I was just touring and touring and, like, lots of stuff with the label and, yeah, my own life or whatever. And so now, like, I haven't really done any music for months and months, and then recently I started to get back into it, and I'm quite excited. Okay. Now, some general questions uh, for music. Tell me uh, your favorite solo artist. The first that comes. I really like PJ Harvey, but she really has a band, so that's not really a solo artist. The only, when you say solo artist, all I can think of is Elton John, and I don't really like Elton John. Um, George Michael, I don't really like George Michael. I can't think of any solo artists. British pop. Sorry? British pop? Yeah. How do you I find like, British pop? I, I like. Well, I don't listen to much new British pop at the moment. It's quite like. I really like at the moment Liars and Foles I'm totally into both of them they're mm. really good bands and um, who else oh Fuck Buttons they're, I just got their album a few weeks ago and it's this like they have like some things with drum machines and some things that you could almost play in a club and also guitars and like sort of rock structures and stuff and that's really and uh, my favourite band and if you get a chance to see them live they're just at the moment their live show is It's like as exciting as the first time I went to a club or something, and the Animal Collective, and they do this like 
it's not dance music, but it's all like loops and repetitive beats and really an like animal is a good word for it. It's really like primal and raw and like caveman music or something. They give you so much feelings. Yeah, it's really ex just like how you never heard anything like it ever and you don't get that very often. <laughs> no. Okay, and uh, now I want you to characterize yourself with three, with only three words. Um. <laughs> I don't know. My music or me? Oh, Which? Um, your music uh, first. I don't know. Um. <laughs> Fuzzy, that would be important to me. And I don't know, warm and personal. That was, those are the words I'd choose. Would you use these words to uh, identify yourself too? Yeah, my hair is fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I hope I'm still, still nice or something. It's a strange position to be in when you're a, a musician. You're almost never. Well, when you're on tour, when I'm at home, my girlfriend treats me like the idiot I am, and that's good. And my family treat me like that. And my friends do, but. You see a lot of DJs who get put in this position. No one talks to them like a normal person. They're like looking up, and there's no reason to look up at any person. We're all just animals, so it changes people. And I'm really scared. Maybe I'm going to become really arrogant. Maybe I'm already really arrogant. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you very much for this short interview. Nice to see you. Oh, <laughs> and I hope to talk with you again cool. soon. And you're coming tonight. Um, of course, I'll be there. <laughs>